my channel and welcome if you're new here. I am so glad you clicked on today's grocery haul video. I have a little bit of a different grocery haul for you today. I am challenging myself to use a lot of what I have in my freezer, my refrigerator, and my pantry. I have a ton of meat. I have a ton of vegetables. So I'm kind of doing a spin on a use it up challenge this week. I planned all of my dinners around what I had on hand. And I also am not meal prepping this week because we are having a yard sale Saturday and Sunday. Sunday is my meal prep day and I will be busy, busy with the yard sale. So you will not see a meal prep video this week. However, you will see another fun video coming your way on Monday. So without meal prepping, it gives me the opportunity to use up a lot of what I have lying around the house, clean out that freezer, fridge, and pantry, and just use up what I have on hand. So I have a little bit of a smaller grocery haul, but it is a mighty grocery haul because we have a ton of new products. So you're going to see some new things, some new flavors of things. And I'm really excited actually about this week's grocery haul. So if you are new to my channel, stick around, hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it. So you're notified when new videos are uploaded. If you love grocery hauls, give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, leave your comments down below and let me know if you need to try any of the fun new things that I shared with you this week. And let's jump in to this week's grocery haul. So here's this week's grocery haul. I am doing kind of a use it up challenge. I will not be putting out a meal prep video on Monday because we have our yard sale this weekend and it is Saturday and Sunday. So my plan is to use up what I have in the fridge, freezer and pantry for breakfast, lunches and snacks. So after I show you the grocery haul, I'm going to show you what I'm planning on eating. I'll show you my freezer, my fridge, my pantry, and kind of give you a rundown of what I do in a week that I don't have a meal prep ready to go. So let's jump into our grocery haul. We don't have a huge one this week, again, because we're using up what we have around the house. But nonetheless, I have a good haul. I have quite a few new things. So let's get started. So first I picked up the big box of frosted mini wheats for my husband. He requested some type of cereal and this is actually one of his favorites. So I grabbed that. I needed horseradish for a recipe. And I will tell you that I think it, this is the first time in my adult life that I've ever purchased horseradish. So I almost couldn't find it. So I grabbed this one because it had cleaner ingredients than the Target brand. And then this is a new creamer. This is the Natural Bliss Mint Truffle. So this is new to me. I think this is one of their holiday flavors just due to the kind of Christmassy packaging. I was going to get the Coffee Mate Peppermint Mocha, but then I saw this one and it has better ingredients. So I am pretty excited about that. And then I had a coupon for this watermelon water. And I have heard really, really good things about this. It has potassium, electrolytes. It has no added sugar. It is 70 calories, but look at the ingredients, you guys. I mean, it's literally watermelon and filtered water and lemon juice. That's all that is even in this. So technically, I would say that it's zero points, but I will put the points here on the screen of what it scans. I will not be counting this when I drink it because it's literally watermelon. And then Troy wanted tuna sandwiches for his lunch this next week. So I picked up two huge cans of the Good and Gather. I have a couple small cans in my pantry. We're gonna use those up. So there's two large cans of tuna. There was a fantastic deal on the Oikos Triple Zero yogurt. This four pack cost me less than $2 with the Target app. So I grabbed it. I haven't had Oikos in years. I can't remember the last time. So I wanted to make sure I had yogurts on hand because they're a really good high protein snack. So between this and my cottage cheese, that will be my snacks for the week. And then I grabbed mozzarella from Target for pizza. So I have an Imperfect Foods box coming tomorrow. So I grabbed mozzarella because I ordered our favorite pizza crust, which you guys will see in my next Imperfect Foods haul. And I just got regular mozzarella for Troy's pizza. And then I got the organic mozzarella for mine. And my mom is spending the night, Saturday night tonight to Sunday to help with the yard sale. So I thought that I could do homemade pizzas for us. So I made sure I picked up mozzarella for that. Colby Jack cheese slices. This is for Troy's lunch and he likes to make, I think I've mentioned it before, like little cheese quesadillas with the tortillas. So I always like to have sliced cheese in the fridge and we were out. So I picked this up. 
I did grab a big pack of organic strawberries. I have grapes and mango left over from last week. So this is the only fruit I picked up. And I believe I even have a few things in my Imperfect Foods box. So I didn't want to let it go to waste. And again, we're using it up. So I grabbed the strawberries. Turkey pepperoni. This is for the pizzas that we're going to make after the yard sale. This market pantry one is really good, you guys. It is really affordable and it's really delicious. So I grabbed that. I was looking for a better ingredient cream of mushroom soup, but Target did not have it. They did have quite a few Pacific soups, but they did not have cream of mushroom. So I just went ahead and grabbed the Healthy Request Campbell's. This is for a dinner recipe. And then this is new. So if you guys remember last week, I bought the chocolate covered cherries. Those were seriously the best things I've ever had in my entire life. So now I have the chocolate covered raspberries. So again, you guys, 90 calories for actually four to five pieces because the raspberries I'm assuming are a little bit smaller, but these have clean ingredients. They are absolutely delicious. It is such a perfect sweet treat on a hot day. So I can't wait to try the raspberries and then I'll let you know if I like the cherries or the raspberries better, but I had to get them because I fell in love with them last week and well worth, well worth it. This little pouch is $5.99, but I will gladly pay that for clean ingredients and a really point friendly dessert truly. So, so excited for those. Another new find are these bare naked granola bites. Now I almost didn't get these because the oats are not organic and I always like to have my oats organic, but with the yard sale, I thought mom and I could snack on these since we're gonna be stuck outside. This is the trail mix and dark chocolate. These are gluten free and non GMO. Here is your nutritional information. They actually had pretty darn good ingredients. So in this one is dark chocolate, cranberries, cherries, and almonds. And again, they're just these little oatmeal squares. They'll be perfect for the yard sale. So I went ahead and picked those up for my mom and I also for my mom and I, a bottle of wine. So you guys know Moscato is my favorite. So we'll enjoy this after a hard day's work at the yard sale. I also grabbed some crispy onions. These are for a recipe. I've actually never had the Good and Gather brand, but they were really affordable. So these are garlic and black pepper with no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. So that is for a dinner recipe. While at Trader Joe's, I decided to grab the roasted gorgonzola crackers because I thought we could have this with hummus this next week. I don't have any crackers. I'm pretty much out and I haven't put in a thrive order for a while. I definitely need to do that. These are really good. So I thought we could dip these in hummus or any dips. I think I still have the Kite Hill French onion dip. So mom and I and my husband can kind of munch on these over the weekend. And then for convenience, I grabbed the Starbucks iced coffee in the blonde roast. That way my mom doesn't have to try to operate my espresso machine. That one right over there. She can go ahead and just make herself an iced coffee in the morning with the blonde roast. I've never had this. And to be honest with you, I'm generally not a fan of cold brew coffee. So I may have to try this as well, just to kind of give you guys my thoughts. And then I bought these last week, but this is a new flavor. And I will be honest with you. I did not love the other flavor, which was the cookie dough with the vanilla ice cream. I didn't love it, but, 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 but I am going to give it another shot because this is the brownie batter edible cookie dough with peanut butter ice cream inside. So that sounds even better. It has the same calories and points as the other one. Actually, this also has really good ingredients, but you are paying, you're paying for that. These are also $5.99, but there are six bites in here. So it's six nights of dessert. So you can't beat that. So I had to go ahead and pick that up as well. Hopefully I like these better. And then per the usual, usual, I went ahead and grabbed some Yasso bars. This time I picked up the coffee chocolate chip. I love this one. They didn't have a cookie dough. So that's part of the reason I grabbed this one. But I thought that this will be nice to have on hand, especially again with the yard sale. My mom being here, it'll give us some healthy dessert options. Hash brown potatoes, this is for a recipe, and everything else is produce. So I grabbed an orange and a red onion, both are for a dinner recipe. Some on the vine tomatoes for a recipe and salad. So one of my goals this next week is to eat up all my salad veggies that are in my fridge and my new chick on the block. So I thought I could pop some tomatoes on my salad. 
Lots of salad mix. So I have some baby spinach. This is a new one from Trader Joe's. This is the organic shredded kale. Triple washed and ready to use. And I like that it's already cut up really fine. So I thought this would be a nice blend with romaine for salads for the week. So I got quite a bit of salad mix. Again, I'm gonna try to eat up all the veggies in my fridge. And then Trader Joe's parsley. I actually needed parsley for several recipes and this was really affordable for fresh. So I just grabbed that. And then the organic cremini mushrooms for a recipe. And then a non-food thing, I decided to pick up a couple of replacement bulbs for my plug-in wax burners. And then I picked this one up. As I mentioned, we're redoing decor. And look how pretty this is. This is going to look so nice in my living room with my new decor. This was only $14.99 at Target. And I thought that was really, really affordable. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And also... I've got some cases of Diet Coke for my husband and a case of water. So that is this week's grocery haul. Now I'm going to take you into my fridge, freezer, and pantry and kind of show you what my plan is for breakfast, lunch, and snacks this next week. This is the refrigerator in our laundry area. We actually have two. This is the refrigerator that my meat is in. You can see we have a ton because I just recently got a butcher box order. So that's why I have all of this red meat. I usually pick red meat from butcher box because it's really hard for me to find grass fed, grass finished red meat in my area. So all of my recipes this week revolve around basically steak. And then like I mentioned, I do have the new chick on the block chicken and here's the spicy. So I can have those for salads. I have also some sausages. We have burgers, some chicken, and then in the fridge, freezer door, I also have quite a few different sausages, some rice. So, I mean, I literally have everything I need, smart cakes for meat for the week. That's why I didn't pick up any meat. So my goal this week is to use up a lot of what's in the freezer for breakfast, lunches, and dinners. And the refrigerator in my kitchen is actually this guy right here. So my plan for the week, again, is to do the use it up. So here's what I have in my refrigerator. So I have a ton of good culture. I have four, so that's gonna be snacks for the week. I have a tiny bit of tzatziki dip and brownie batter left, so I'll work on eating up that. There's also some of the Good Foods queso back there, so I'll have that on like wraps and sandwiches. We also have quite a few Clio bars, some more of my perfect bites, and I have a ton of yogurts, so I'm gonna work on that. We were good on eggs, so I'll probably do some type of egg with breakfast. We have string cheese as well as little individual cheeses, so that's another good high protein snack. Back here is my fruit. So again, I have strawberries, grapes, and some mango, and I will be getting a little bit more in my Imperfect Foods box. I also have some sliced up cucumber here to use in the Kite Hill dip or tzatziki dip. And then we are packed full, both drawers are packed full of veggies. So that is my goal is to use up and have these two drawers be virtually empty by the end of the week. And then I also have quite a bit of cheese. I have this True Story turkey breast that I want to use up. I have a little pack of dice up chicken here and two or three Olay wraps so I can do sandwich wraps. And I also have back, oh no, back here, the ultra thin sliced cheese and there is one laughing cow wedge left. So I'm going to be using that sandwiches and wraps. And then I have all my milks and coffee creamers stocked up and ready to go. And any condiment that I could ever desire, we have that as well. I plan on using up a lot of this bread for breakfast. So I have a few of the English muffins. I've got some Vans waffles, pita breads, a few cinnamon raisin left. And then I actually have two almost full loaves of sprouted bread. So I'll be doing a lot of toasts, avocado toasts, breakfast sandwiches for breakfast this next week. I have tons of frozen fruit, so I can do my protein shake smoothies for a snack. All of the frozen treats that I got for the week. And then this whole drawer over here is frozen veggies and side dishes. So we'll be using those up as sides and veggies for dinner. So that's my plan on the freezer. I should use up a good amount of this throughout this next week. And lastly, into my pantry. Let's flip on the light here. Okay, so... Not all of what's in here is my food, obviously. 
but up here I do have a little bit of the birthday cake granola left that I can put on yogurt so I'll be able to use that up I have the tiniest bit of quinoa so I may do something with that this next week these nuts and everything are for my husband's lunch I did make some homemade granola so that also can be put on to the yogurt I have all sorts of seeds nuts and seeds here that I can top bowls with so that'll be good I might make like a quinoa kind of veggie bowl none of this is mine none of this is really anything I eat the soup and everything's my husband's these are just canned green beans tomatoes I do have lots of the Nick sticks left I didn't eat very many of those this last week so I'll be eating those up I have a lot of like additives here for smoothies, like all my little smoothie blends. So I'll make sure that I'm incorporating some of those as well into my smoothies. And then these are kind of my snacks. So I do have, you know, some little of the snacks that I've purchased in the past left that I can munch on. Some coffee over cardio bars. Of course I have lots of smart sweets. And then these are kind of the snacks that I eat. So the things that I will kind of munch on throughout the week. And then I have all of my protein powders from live well so I can again have my protein shakes my built boost which I am obsessed with my built bars are in the other fridge so I'll definitely be eating those I'm out of the built go but I ordered some and then this is just basically backup condiments I have those little mini croutons so I'll pop some of those onto my salad this is basically just all condiments and then backup spices and then I do have a few rice cakes left that I can have and then this is another one of my snack drawers so siete chips I'll munch on those and then I've got some crackers some Weight Watcher snacks and some dried fruit so I am completely stocked up and ready for the week I have everything I need in my house I don't need to buy another thing so my goal my friends is to empty out that fridge freezer and a lot of this pantry here is the menu plan again I will not be doing a meal prep so what I have here is what I'm doing this week for meals so of course we'll do pizzas probably tonight rather than go out for dinner I'm making a pasta with steak and spinach I promise you're gonna see a lot of steak on the menu so that I can start using up what I got from my butcher box I'm gonna do a honey garlic shrimp because I actually have two packages of shrimp in the freezer. Tuesday is a jazzercise night, so it's a leftover night. Wednesday, I have a huge roast. I actually have three roasts from Butcher Box, so I'm gonna pop one in my crock pot and do a pot roast. Thursday, we'll do balsamic steak salad, and then that way I can use up a lot of the greens and the veggies in addition to lunch, so that will really help with that. And then Friday, we will do leftovers or eat what we have on hand so that is my menu plan for the week I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes and maybe next week I'll give you the fridge freezer and pantry tour so you can see everything that I used up this week thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the good stuff that I picked up for this week you got a little glimpse into my freezer my fridge and my pantry and I'm telling you my goal is to clean those out this week between breakfast lunches snacks and dinners I'm hoping to get rid of a lot of what I have on hand so if you're new again I'd love it if you'd stick around subscribe ring the little bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded thumbs up this video if you love you some grocery hauls and make sure you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to find the link for my website discount codes and links to my favorite things and the link to head over and join my Facebook group we'd love to have you join that community over there join YouTube join Facebook and you're in the know about everything. I hope you guys have a fantastic Saturday and I'll see you all in my next video.